I'm not sure what in the world I'm thinking. I have more plant starts. These are for fall. These are, let's see, kale, broccoli, some lettuces, some cucumbers, all kinds of stuff. I'm not even sure if it was a really great idea. Let's walk out here. Let's just kind of see a tour. These need water. These are all the hibiscus plants. <clears throat> that one is definitely pink. So I have a couple of, I have a few pink over by the clothesline. So this one I'm taking, I'm gonna give to a friend, this pink one here. I'll give to a friend because I already have plenty of those right now. I've still got stuff that needs to be planted right there. I don't even know if it'll even make it into it, but let's um, let's check out what's going on in the garden right now. I've probably got a few things to pick. I think I'm gonna do some pickles tonight. I've canned some tomatoes and I think pickles are next on the list. This is Simba. He's super friendly, as you can tell. He's my milking buddy. He likes to come out and get some milk in the morning. Don't you, Simba? All right, so these are the tomatoes. Now, I keep my tomatoes trimmed because I've had some, got some blight going on. So these, <laughs> they look pretty sad, but they're doing really well. I've gotten quite a few tomatoes. I've already canned some. So I just don't like them to get really bushy. I have no idea what some of these varieties are because my... Um, some of these are either not labeled right or they've bleached out so just got some tomatoes this is purple basil that came up on its own over by my herbs and it's doing really well I've got another one down here as well that came up volunteer in my herb bed I actually had planted purple basil last year I bought the plant and then of course it blooms and the seeds come out and I just spread it out and didn't think it was coming back up but then I had these little purple plants coming up and so I knew that's what it was. So I moved them and I put them out here to kind of put them in with the tomatoes to kind of give off another scent maybe to kind of disguise. It didn't work out super well, but it's in here and so is some dill. And I've actually been pulling the dill and I was using it in some fermented dilly beans that I'm trying. These have just went nuts. Of course, this is the, one of the beds that had the manure in it. So the lots and lots of green, lots of nitrogen. Um, the asparagus bed, I'm ready to chop that back. It's about to drive me crazy. But I've got this bed that really doesn't have anything in it um, other than this poor nasturtium. This is comfrey, which has gone nuts. It is starting to bloom, so hopefully I can keep that kind of right here on the corner. It was a very tiny plant whenever I planted that. So over here, We've got cucumbers and I can see I've got a cucumber up there I need to pick. So I'll probably pick cucumbers since I'm going to do some canning tonight. We've got some beans coming up this trellis. This trellis is new. I put this right here. We've got some pollinators in there. We've got lettuce going to seed. The plan was to save some of this lettuce, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen. I think it's kind of going everywhere. These are sunflowers. Now, I planted two little bitty plants. I have a bird bath in there and it has disappeared. I'm amazed at the sunflower and I think, I can't even remember what they're called, maybe sun torch or something. I bought a lot of different sunflowers this year, but this will not go here next time. This is gonna have to go somewhere else. And I think I have one in this bed right here too and it was really small, didn't even realize it. And now it's probably gonna do this because it's already getting up like tall so I don't know so let's walk through here maybe I'm getting like attacked by asparagus all right so I have a cucumber up here I'll have to kind of look in here and see kind of pay attention and not step on everything but if I can get through the jungle it's like grab all my hair but yeah here's the this is the other sunflower you can see it's the same kind but these are beans so I've got some cave beans up here that a friend gave me and then this is acorn squash. I'm trying to keep an eye on the squash bugs. We usually have a time with squash bugs. But I planted some of this stuff later, so I'm hoping that I can kind of keep track. I've pulled some off, but not as many as last year. So that's good. This next bed is beans, uh, rutabaga. It had dill in it. I've let it go to seed. It had um, cilantro, which has went to seed too. Now is coriander seed, which I had no idea. I'm learning something new every day. So you can just drop that right back in there and it will come back up. 
But I did have, I've gotten some beans off of here. Did some fermented dilly beans. We don't really eat a whole lot of green beans because we have them every week at my uh, father and mother-in-law's. So I don't usually fix a whole lot of beans. But this is a pumpkin. I decided to try it. So I've got some on the other side too. But then all this in here is just weeds. So I've got to figure out what I want to put in here. I don't want this to say bare. So I've got to plant something in there. Just may plant a cover crop of some sort for winter. Simba's coming to say hi again. We've got zucchini over here. And um, got a melon. This is a small melon back over here. This is a sugar, uh, sugar baby pumpkin, sugar baby watermelon. And I got a little too happy with a sugar baby watermelon. I had one come on before it really branched out and it got really big and I picked it way too soon. I should have paid attention to the seed packet and not picked it until that little tendril died. I didn't, I picked it and cut it open, it was still white. So I have another one that I'm totally waiting on and there's a few other ones on here that are really, really tiny, but I'm just gonna wait. You just gotta be patient. You can probably see it maybe down in there, a little sugar baby watermelon down in there. So I'm just gonna wait on that one. And then I just saw another one. Where did I see that little bitty one at? Okay, well, I don't know where it's at. I just saw it. Yeah, well. So, ooh, I've got a zucchini in here that I need to pick. There's a zucchini. I need to pick that. Let's see if there's any over here. There's a wild yarrow down in here that I picked out of the yard. And then this over here is yellow squash, which has a few little ones on it. I have been picking off of it. And then these are Charleston gray watermelons. Now, sometimes you use whatever you have for a trellis. And I had a couple old ladders, so that's what I've been using. Now, I have been cutting off runners that's been coming out here because I don't need this going everywhere. As you can see, I've got, there's one there, there's one there. There was one, oh, there's a little one out here. So you use whatever you've got to keep the watermelon. I didn't know where to put these, so I put them in my, <laughs> Put them in this garden, I don't know if that was a good idea or not. And so now I've got some tomatoes. These I'm just gonna let go, I think. I've even got a watermelon vine out here. So I may take care of the watermelon vine, but I think these I'm just gonna let them do their thing and uh, just kind of keep an eye on them and see, make sure I get the worms off of them. But you can see my nice trellis. I think it kind of looks cool. This is another bed that doesn't have anything in it. It actually needs some more dirt in it, but I think the cats have been kind of playing in here. I had stuff planted and they messed it up, and uh, so I just haven't put anything else in there. Now this one did have corn, which you can see like three whole things of corn have come up. So I guess I'll just leave that and let it, I don't know, do its thing. This is a nasturtium that has went crazy. This is the bed that had cabbage in it and it had some broccoli and things in it and uh, the nasturtium has just really taken over so I really need to save some seed because I had a mixed packet and then this is the one that was right here so we've got some more peppers over here of course like lots of tomatoes but uh, some peppers and it uh, looks like I've got some tomatoes to pick too and you can see I have a chicken that's getting out She's making me very angry more tomatoes. Looks like might be a little bit of water. This is a round zucchini. Looks like I need to pick that one as well. These are really good. Got one of those in the house. And then we've got spaghetti squash and another ladder. Probably need to look and make sure there's no squash bugs because I'm wondering if that, I don't know if that's what's going on there or not. I'll just have to look and see if there's squash bugs on it. Um, I know I have picked some off of it. Just kind of have to check every once in a while and see what's going on. But we're going to walk down this way and check out the okra. So here is, these are actually burdock at the end. And then this is okra. This is the first time I've planted this and it's gotten this big. I planted it late last year and it didn't get quite this big. But I'm trying to look for a bloom. 
These have such pretty blooms. They actually bloom similar to a hibiscus. They kind of spin out, twist out. And then that is, of course, where the okra will be. I'm not sure what happened there with that one, but so got okra and some blooms coming on. They're just really pretty flowers, too. And then another kind over there. So I've got a pole bean, some extra pole beans that found its way up there. Some more peppers. Now, like I said, with the tomatoes, what happened is I had written all my stuff and marked it all, but I didn't write it down on paper and I should have because now I don't know what everything is. So I don't know which ones these are. I have some um, habanada peppers that are supposed to, they're 100 day peppers if you want them to be red, but they're not hot. So I guess they have the flavor of the habaneros, but they don't have the hotness. So I have jalapenos without the hotness as well, and they're called natapenos. They are doing really well. They are very prolific. They are like putting on peppers like crazy. But I have this one that is still kind of yellow greenish. And then I also have a sugar rush that has not turned red either. So I'm not sure which one that is. More tomatoes. Now these are probably ripe because these are I think these are the golden nugget ones, maybe. Um, these are ripe, so I need to pick those. I kind of go through here in the morning and, yep, look for tomato worms, which is right there. So he needs to come off of there and go to the chickens. So I'll probably do a good look before I go in because this one here looks a little eaten. I'll have to kind of look around and see if I can find anything or if it's maybe one I pulled off yesterday. But some of these are kind of fizzling out a little bit. But that's okay. But they also are very trim. But you can see there's more. There's like a lot of green coming up here. This is my poor sunflower. <laughs> so we've got sunflowers here. And we have more of the marigolds. I love these marigolds. They have done so well. So this is one of the habanada pe peppers and um, or the nata pino peppers and they are like I said they're they're doing really well. Got a few in there and I've got to figure out what to do with all of them but there's like blooms everywhere on these. I mean look. So many peppers. Just everywhere. So this is one of them that I'm not really sure. I think this is probably one of the habanadas, um, or not the habanadas, the, um, yes, habanadas, I guess. See how they're like all scrunchy looking? So I'm not really sure because my, you know, labels are gone, but they're growing really well. There's a lot of peppers on it, but I'm not really sure what it was. Um, we had been picking them and because they weren't turning, but now I'm just going to leave them on here. But there's like three or four plants here of that, so I don't know. I have to wait and see. I've got something all over me. I had some dill coming up, so I've just kind of like left it and placed it in here. I don't know if this one is the lilac bell. Mm, there's not any on here, I don't think. I have a lilac bell and it's so pretty, this purple, beautiful purple uh, bell pepper, but I don't see any coming on here. There wasn't very many of those on these plants. I was kind of disappointed in those. Just kind of have to look and there's blooms on that one. Simba is not leaving me alone. But just more peppers and of course not knowing exactly what they are because you know the label so this is a muncher ah oh, there she is i gotta put her somewhere else because she is getting out all the time I need to watch her and see where she's going she must be flying through a hole in the net somehow i think she's gonna go in with the other ones so this is a muncher, 
I've been picking off of it. This one is so adorable. This one is a small, like a mini sour jerkin. Look how tiny. So tiny. They look like mini watermelons. I planted these last year, but they didn't have time to mature, so I'm curious to see what these do. And then I think I've got a pickling cucumber down here, so I need to look at that. I see some I need to pick on there too and take those in. So I think this is a giant pumpkin that I planted. Um, I don't know, we'll see. We've got a something growing. Not really sure, label again, it did not work. So I really don't know if that's actually a large pumpkin or not, but we do have a zinnia coming up over there in with the wild, I don't even know, a wild patch of tomatoes and stuff. Just got cardboard down everywhere to kind of keep the weeds that usually works. But these are like going crazy coming out here. I'm not sure. It must have been way at the end of the cattle panel. This was kind of a last minute decision there. These are just more tomatoes. I gotta figure out what to do. Probably we'll stake these a little bit and kind of let them do their thing. Uh, more tomato, more peppers. And I can see I've got some to pick in here. Got some orange bells. These are either the orange or these are the lunchbox peppers that I planted. So I've got some to pick there as well. More green beans. These actually did better than the other ones. So I picked quite a few the other day. And it looks like there's a few to pick. But I'll probably give it a few days and then pick them again. Some more sunflowers over there one that fell down, and more volunteer tomato plants. Just got more peppers. These might be, I don't know, maybe the sugar rush? I don't really know. Just gonna have to be patient and let them stay on there longer, I guess. I've loved planting flowers this year. Beautiful genius. Thinking this one probably needs to be pulled up and picked. Lonely little tomato potato plant. Alright, let's go see if we can get this chicken in with the others where she cannot get out. I don't know if that's gonna work. I'm trying to figure out how she is stuff stuck to me. Trying to figure out how in the world she is getting out. I don't know. I don't know how she's doing it. Okay. I got her. Enticed her with food. Got her in the coop. After chasing her around the garden a few times. And finally just went in the coop after her and got her and then I put her in with the other chickens in the small little coop run thing so hopefully she doesn't figure out a way to get out of there so hopefully my tomatoes will stop being eaten and uh, I don't have to worry about that so then I'll have to figure out something else she's probably gonna go in the mobile coop then if she is getting out but I've got to get new netting so anyways Okay, I think I'm going to go pick what's left in the garden, and then I'm going to go in and cut up and make some pickles. Okay, I found a few more. I said I was going in, but I found a few more. Not very many potatoes, but that's okay. I already got my big harvest earlier. That was just an extra one that came up, so I'm gonna go in and get these canned.